Hey guys, welcome back to our video. So today I'll be showing you guys how to get a lobby bot. And this lobby bot we've not actually made a video about in quite a while because they had shut down for a little bit, but it is back up as of early March and late February. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to use it. So this lobby bot is by EZFN. You guys probably heard of them. So what EZFN does is it lets you create custom lobby bots that are hosted by them and you can use them at any time and they're hosted 100% of the time. And these bots can be created on any device that has a browser and you can use them on any platform, including Xbox, PlayStation, PC, mobile, and Nintendo switch and they have every single cosmetic in fortnite and a ton of new commands for you to use so before i get into that if you guys have not subscribed yet please help us hit our goal of 50k by the summer which would be really really amazing so if you're not subscribed yet please consider subscribing and turn on notifications so you can see whenever any new videos are posted by us and you can like the video as well or just try to get 200 likes on this video that'd be really amazing it also helps out with the youtube algorithm to get more people to see these videos so without further ado let's get right into the video so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go on to easyfn.dev i'll put the link for this into the description um, it's a really simple link and then once you're on this page it should look just like this so up here in the top right you gotta log in if it says log in you should log in i'm already logged into my account so i'm good with that but if you guys are not logged into your account you gotta log in if you want to create your own bot all you have to do is go down here and click on create a bot so once you're over here the next step you want to do is click on the project section in the left hand side and over here you want to create a rebel so what this is going to do is it's going to let you host your own bot what you're going to do is you're going to go on to the rebel link so you're just going to click on rebel up in the top left right on over here and that's going to send you to a place to log in you can use your google account or anything i'm just using my google account and i'll show you guys once i've logged in so once you've logged in it will load up a page like this this just clones their github link so that you can run it you're not going to have to make any changes to this so you're okay for now all you have to do is click on main.py and then you just have to click on run up here in the top. So this will take about five minutes and I'm just gonna speed this part up. Okay, so this is done. So once this has finished, all you need to do is you're gonna click right on over here and click on copy project URL. And again, all of this stuff will work on mobile um, as well as PC. So you're just gonna copy this URL and then you're gonna scroll down and then you're just gonna click down here, just paste in the project URL that you copied. So once you've done that, all you have to do is click on add to project. And then once it's done that, you will be done with that section. So the next section is going to be going up here and then you wanna click on create a bot. And then you wanna go over to basic and then you're gonna click on create a bot. And then for now we're just gonna be creating a basic bot. So you click on create bot. Um, the next step you're gonna have to do is log into your Epic account. And this is again gonna be your alt Epic account. Please do not use your main. This will really mess up your main account. So make sure this is an alt account before you actually move on and do this step. So all you have to do is click on login, just like this. And then you wanna log in. So I'm just gonna blur out my email that I'm gonna be using for this, but you just wanna log in with your Epic account and then click on login now. And I'll show you guys what happens after this. All right, so after you have done that login, it should appear with something like this with a random code. So you're just gonna click on confirm right on over here. And then once it has done that, it'll add your bot to EZFM. So now you're just gonna wait until it has said that it has been added and it has been added now. So you're gonna go into your bots. So here it is. Uh, my bot has been added down here. It's called Excel EZFM Test. And these are all the other ones I created, but um, I couldn't use them because a bunch of people kept on joining them because they are from other videos that I made from different bots. So the next step will be to add this bot on Fortnite. So we're gonna go on over here and we're just gonna paste this into the friends. If you are on any other device or platform, you can simply just type it in. So you're just gonna add it like this. So once you've added it, you can simply join the bots party and you can start doing all of the commands. So I just joined the bots party like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing all the commands are gonna be in the whisper chat. You click on manage and then press whisper. So mine was not appearing. So I'm just gonna click on Excel EZFN test. So once you clicked on the whisper, you're gonna start doing all the commands. So the first command is gonna be the exclamation point skin command. So if you just do this like this, exclamation point skin, you can do any skin in the entire game. So the first one's gonna be the ghoul trooper. So once you do this, exclamation point skin ghoul trooper, the ghoul trooper skin will appear in your lobby, just like this. So that's pretty much what it does. And also another side note, 
is that it automatically hides all the other skins in your lobby, which uh, makes it better for trolling. All right, so the next command is going to be the exclamation point emote command. So this one's also very, very self-explanatory. You just do emote and then you can type in the ID or the name of the emote. So currently in the item shop, we see that there is the double up emote. So if you just type in double and then space up, then you do that, it would start doing the double up emote that is from the item shop. The next thing I can do is you can change other things like the level. So this one, you just do exclamation point level, and then you can type in any level that you want. So if you want it to be a level one, you just type in enter, and you guys can just see it change from level 800 something back to level one. So a lot of you guys have been asking about how to get different styles on the school trooper and school trooper skins. So I'll be showing you guys how to get those right now. The first one for the school trooper is going to be the exclamation point purple skull command. So if you go on into here, you do exclamation point purple skull. This will change it to the purple skull trooper, as you guys can see over here. And then if you want the pink ghoul trooper, you can just do exclamation point and do pink ghoul. And that'll make you get the pink ghoul trooper. So those are the two commands to get variants that most people want. So there's three more commands that you can use. So the first one that I'm not gonna be showing is the banner command because it's very hard to find the specific banner IDs. And most people don't really want to change the banner in the first place. So I'm not gonna be showing you guys the banner command. The second one I'm not gonna be showing is the pickaxe command because the pickaxes, you cannot see them in the lobby unless you do one specific emote. So I'm not gonna be showing that one, but I will be showing you guys the backpack command. So you do exclamation point backpack. And then you do like a backpack such as ghost portal. This will change the backpack to your ghost portal backpack or back bling. So that's what that command does. So there's one last thing I wanna show you guys before I end the video for today. So this one's going to be the leaks cosmetics. So there's a really good website that I'm gonna be putting in the description that lets you guys see these leaked cosmetics. So it's on pro game guides and I'll be showing you guys it right on over here. So if you scroll down, you'll see all of the leaked cosmetics that you can get in the game. So the first one I'm gonna show you guys is the skin, which we're gonna be doing the Xander skin right over here. So it works just like with all the other ones. All you have to do is go on into here, do SMH point skin, and then you can do Xander which will change it to this unreleased skin. And then I'm gonna show you guys one more, which is gonna be the Wake Rider skin. So if you go on into here, you can do skin Wake Rider, and then it'll change it to this leaked Wake Rider skin right on over here. So you can see it's the exact same skin. So some of these skins and emotes will not work because they've not actually been put into their cosmetic form. They're just simply leaks. Um, so only some of them will work um, for unreleased cosmetics, but this is really really cool if you want to troll your friends or do anything like that. So that's the end of the video for today guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.